Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome our first fighter to the ring, representing the British Lionhearts, Zelatko Z. Zelatik. And now, let's welcome his opponent to the ring, representing your USA Knockouts, Kennedy Katendi. Let's get the action started. Our next bout is in the light heavyweight division and is scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner. He is wearing the silver trunks with black trim. Official weight, 181 pounds. He has an amateur record of 26 wins, 15 losses, five of his wins coming by way of a knockout. From Bosnia, please welcome Zelatko Z. Letty. And now, let's welcome his opponent across the ring in the blue corner. He's wearing the blue trunks with white trim. Official weight, 194 and three quarter pounds. He has an amateur record of 110 wins, 40 losses, four of his wins coming by way of a knockout. From Sweden, let's welcome Kennedy Katendi. The referee in charge of the action is Jerry Cantu. Okay, final instructions there from Joe Cantoon will be in the ring for this light heavyweight action. Kenny Katende is in the blue trunks. There's your judges you see for this fight. Uh, Kennedy, <laughs> we've enjoyed watching him the past few years. He fought out of Mexico City, and he's, I said, why are you in America now? He said, I just need to do something different. <laughs> so he's here. He's from Uganda. He, he, he never seems like he has a care in the world, but we, we, we love watching him because he's got an unusual style. You can see he's a southpaw. He had a very relaxed fighter, and he's taking on a guy from a Thousand Oaks who lives in Thousand Oaks now just up the road here a couple of hours from Bosnia originally, but uh, he's fighting for the British team, and he's uh, fighting in the silver trunks, and uh, Katende's in the blue trunks. They're scheduled for five rounds, light heavyweight, and it's very hard, Sean O'Grady, to, to describe Kennedy's style um, because there's another, another, another one like it. <laughs> he's, he's very quick and, and agile in the ring, and he's... He's, he's very strong. He hits pretty good. You know, he's not a one-shot KO artist, but he, he's, he's real accurate with his punches, and he, he picks you. He picks you. He, like, picks and pecks you apart. You know, he's real accurate and uh, fast. Well, uh, two southpaws here, by the way. Two southpaws. I think, I think that should be the rule in boxing. Uh, three of my five losses to southpaws. I think all southpaws should only fight southpaws. That should be the rule. All the, all the uh, orthodox fighters should fight one another, or as they call them in, bo in the boxing gym. North, North Pause. <laughs> nice jab out there from Katende, and, he, and he's, uh, he's good giving up some height as he good usually faint. does. Good feint. Look good. at the feint. Look at Katende. Look at, you know, you, if you can move like you had a basketball in the middle of your body, and that's the way he moves. See, he moves like one way and then the other way, and back and forth and around. He's always mo constantly moving, Katende is. 
continues on. Look at this movement. That's fantastic. He's pecking away, as you said. He, That's he'll, great. He'll, he'll bug you to death. And hard to hit. Look at him roll with that shit, right cross or that right hook there. Yeah, anyway, roll with that. And he's got to get a win for his team, the USA Knockouts, but they're out of this event tonight. And uh, he, he, he comes out throwing a lot of punches. Very active in the ring. Scheduled for five here once again. Nice right yeah. hand up top right there. Ledick's having trouble dealing with uh, all that uh, movement. Yeah. Movement. Yeah, but Ledick is, is doing a, a good job staying still and keeping his hands up and, and using that, that right jab. But he's not, he's not, he's not, he's not affected. He's not doing anything. It's still early in the fight. We've got five rounds to deal with. We've seen a different complexion in these matches. Every round has been different. You know, all, all, all three bouts that we've seen. Radico, good combination. Look at that. Yep. Oh. Inside and out. He's, oh, he's, he's, he's looking better tonight. He's and I've good. seen him in his last couple of fights he's in this series. I was going to mention, uh, uh, Ledick is, has, has won a couple of Golden Gloves here in California. He made the drive down here from Thousand Oaks to fight for the British team tonight. And he's getting worked over a little bit here from the speed of Kennedy contending. 20 seconds left, round number one. These are light heavyweights, 187 pounds. And you can see the speed from Katendi. That's why he's so good and so effective in this division, because of that speed. Light heavyweights notoriously are like lumbering. They're there. It's a division between heavyweight and middleweight. They're not, not quite, you know, not, don't quite have all the, the, the speed and the, all, the, all the ancillary stuff that goes with the speed, with, you know, the, the timing, the ins and the outs. Katendi's got it. Big round for uh, Kennedy Katendi right here. I can tell you that, no doubt about it. As I said, one of the most relaxed fighters I've ever seen. Always smiling and backstage, yeah, living yeah. in Sweden. Very relaxed. He was back there asleep when we went back to the dressing room to see everybody. You know, that's how relaxed he is. I've seen, I've seen it happen so many times. In fact, many of the fighters that I, that I grew up with, they would fall asleep in the dressing room before the fight and they'd forget to put on their trunks. They'd put on their robe, you know, they, they go in there, they, they have no trunks. They forgot to put them on because they were asleep. Here's some of that action from that first round. Katendi forcing the attack and combination outside, fun punches, just quick going after him. Makes he, you miss. He, 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 and bobbing around, look at him moving, harder to hit a moving target. He's constantly moving. The way he shifts his weight on his legs back and forth, you kind of realize what punch he's going to, he's going to try to set up for you. If he shifts his weight to the right foot, he's going to try to hit you with a right hook. If he sits, shifts his weight to the left foot, he's going to try to hit you with a left cross. He's good. Round number two, Kenny Katende in the Blue Trunks fighting the United States this season, the USA Knockouts. He's been in Mexico City, but he's fought everywhere. He's from Uganda, lives in Sweden, speaks terrific English. Uh, it's, it's fought in every tournament you can name in, in Europe. Yeah. He just loves to fight. Yeah, I mean, boxer, always a smile on his face. He, yeah. When he comes to weigh in, he's smiling. When he goes to the dressing room, he's smiling. The only time you don't see a smile on his face is when he's boxing because he's serious. Yeah, once this fight's over, you'll see a big big grin out of him. Ladix, Ladix uh, slowing the trigger. Yeah. He's, he's, yeah. He's, he's worried about, you can see him hesitating. Yeah. He's chewing on a mouthpiece, too. You know, the mouthpiece we talked about, if you don't have your mouthpiece really solid, locked in there in your jaw, you get hit on the jaw, it's going to break your jaw. And I'd like to see him bite down on that mouthpiece. They get these mouthpieces that are form-fitted to their mouth. And that way you can bite down on it and not, not have to chew on it. He's chewing on his mouthpiece. Dangerous. And he's got him up against the ropes now, working on him, digging downstairs and upstairs. Ladick says that didn't hurt, but it did. He's getting out quick. Yeah. <laughs> this is good, man. Good contrast of styles, too. Now, hopefully in this match, or in the future, Ledick will have more elusiveness. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Nice left hand got in for contending. Nice Ooh. left hand. Shaking his head, no, just now it didn't hurt. So that always tells me it hurt. Ledick. Yeah. Whenever yes. a fighter says right. it didn't, I know oh, it yeah. did. Of course, they all hurt. Some hurt more than others. And they really hurt tomorrow and the next day. <laughs> 119 left round number two, scheduled for five. This is the light heavyweights. The USA knockouts are down two matches to none so far. So Kennedy Contende is trying to bring his team back here in Orange County at the hangar, the Orange County Fairgrounds. People from the area familiar with it. Great boxing venue, nice yeah, left great. hand once Good. again from Contendi. Set up, set up with that right, that right jab. Good work from him. Boy, look at the accuracy from him, too. He just likes to fight, Kennedy does. He just likes to fight. He's a good boxer. You know, he just like, likes boxing. Good work from him. Loose, and you know, when you're loose like this, instead of stiff, you know, you're loose like this, you can go all night. You're relaxed in there, you're having fun, you're bouncing around. 
Let him go all night. Yeah, he goes from dead stop. Oh, there's another good. Good left cross. hand over the top. That's what was working for him. And I asked him, I said, how'd you get into boxing? He said, I was a fat kid. My dad made me run. I got bored with that, so I went to the gym. There's a right hand left. Oh, nice left hand. Just pop it right there. <laughs> Dependent speed, speed, speed. And hard to hit. Oh, my gosh. This just takes through. When you throw a punch and miss, it just takes all the confidence out of you. Then you quit throwing punches because you're afraid you're going to miss. Ten seconds. It takes more energy because when you miss, swing and miss, you have to keep from falling over. So you have to rebalance yourself. Uh, right at the end, but not enough. I think he's down two rounds to none in this sure. one. Ledick has to get something going, and what does he do? What do you have to get going? If you're Ledick, you're in there with a, a, a boxer that is shorter than you. You have to get down, go down there, stairs to his body. You know, the, the target for somebody like Kennedy, uh, Katenda is not the head because he's so elusive. The target is downstairs to his, to his body. But he tie, he fight, here, let's take a look at some of it, Sean, here. Yeah. Look at it's it's so hard to get to his body. See, he gets down low. He takes his body back. He pulls his body away. Kennedy does. Yeah. It's hard to find his body. How do you see? You can't even see it there. You get, how are you going to hit it? you got to go through his defense. But that's what, that's what uh, Ledick is going to have to do. He's got to get down, too. He's standing up too tall. He's fighting tall. Standing up like that, you get cocked with something. Your head's going to fly. This is the, I mean, I always knew, I saw him two seasons ago in Mexico City, saw him last year, but he's, he seems to advance a little bit because he's more fluid and, and he's, uh, his defense is really, really super sharp. Plus, the other thing is about the style of Ledick, as you said, it's way, way upright for him. He's kind of tailor-made for him because uh, he's able to do whatever he wants to do and Ledick's fighting this extremely up, upright style. You don't, you don't realize it until you've been in there with fighters like this or, or you've been around boxers like Kennedy. But look at these feints from him. He's feinting, he's feinting you out of position. Right now, the Dick doesn't know what he's going to do. He doesn't know where he's going to go. He doesn't know what he's going to get hit with, where he's going to throw, because that's, that's a nice little foot feint from Ledick. But, but he's, 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 he's got the hesitation gear yeah. going. He's, he's hesitating. Well, he's learning, but he's learning to, ba to pay back with his foot feints or feint, feint, feint back at, at uh, Kennedy. And Kennedy's so great. Look at this. Move on. You get the angle. You attack over here. You, you bobble around. You <laughs> oh, he is so hard to face. Yeah, oh, he, he put a, he's he, so hard to face. He puts a lot of motion in for every punch he throws. Yeah. Athletic just stepped in there and tried to land some stuff inside, but uh, Kennedy's picking it off. <laughs> How do you catch him with a solid shot, Kennedy? You know, he's, he's, he's all over the place. For one thing, I think that you would that athletics should work that left hand a little more. Sure, absolutely. That's a, that's the secret. Yeah. Work that and go downstairs to the body. You know, trying to blood. Try hit in the head. Got a bloody lip yeah. there from yeah. athletic. Well, his mouth is open because of that mouthpiece we talked about him chewing on in the last round. He's getting he's getting frustrated right now. Yeah, I'm fidgeting yeah. with his short, with his yeah, trunks. He's, he's, <laughs> he's, he's trying <laughs> to figure out what the what the heck I'm, I'm up against. He's chewing on that mouthpiece. It's yeah. like he's facing, you know, it's like he's facing a, a, a beehive. That's what he's up against, <laughs> trying to swat the bees around. <laughs> oh, this is a One frustrating. One left, oh. round three, so schedule frustrating. five. So frustrating when you've got somebody in there like... Oh, nice left hand. Uh, Ledick, uh, Ledick didn't like that too much. That left hand came whistling over the top. Kennedy, looking good. It's going to take a good fighter to beat Kennedy. I'll tell you, he's, he's that good. It's going to take a fighter that has a plan when he comes into the ring, and he's got to execute that plan fully throughout the match. You know, he doesn't fight like a, a light heavy. I mean, you, you, yeah. If you didn't right. know, he, good he, point. He, he, he fights like a, a middleweight. A middle or middle welter, welterweight, yeah. yeah. You're right. Great point. Yeah. I think trying to cut off the ring a little bit here, but every time he came, that yeah. left hand, he gets whistled with that left hand. Now let it just spitting. <laughs> oh, this is so frustrating. Oh, when you're, when you're somebody oh, like let it go. Coming in with a yeah. right hand from Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy hasn't, he hasn't changed one bit from round one. You know, no. he's moved this he's time. You think he's going to slow down, nah. but he's in good shape. Yeah. Round three good winding shape. down, another big round for Kennedy Katende. Doesn't waste his energy, Kennedy does. No, he's just a constant movement. He's a buzzsaw. Like you said, and you, you nailed it right before he went in the ring. He's not gonna be knocking you out with one big punch, right. but he's gonna right. he's gonna bug you to he's death. He's gonna frustrate <laughs> you. Oh, he's gonna he's just gonna he's just, he's not gonna beat you up. He's not gonna knock you out, he's not gonna beat you up, he's just gonna he's gonna beat you. 
he's really good. Very smart in the ring. You know, Politic, he's got some good qualities about him. He's, uh, he uh, does a lot of good things. He just doesn't need to know, do more of them. He's got to get that jab going more. He's got to set up that left cross. He's got to go downstairs to the body. And we're in the fifth round. So how do you do all that in one round? I've got him, you know, behind every round. I Throwing that jab as that left hook comes whistling yeah. over the top of it. He, yeah. Every yeah. time he throws it out there, he, he, Kennedy's left hand comes in, and that's where he's getting socked. So here yeah. we go, round number three. Every time he reaches, he gets a leather sandwich. Yep. And it's not like Kennedy loads it up. No. I mean, he, he just <laughs> comes with it when, it when it's there. And <laughs> <laughs> oh, the hardest kinds of fighters to face. Oh, and like Kennedy. Yep, constant movement. It's a little bit like Pernell. He's so good that you can't hit him. Um, Pernell Whitaker. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, just so good that he, he's just got so many great moves. Ledick's coming out with a little more steam this round, though. He, he knows he's behind. He's going to try to press it a little bit, and we'll see if Kennedy can take advantage. Because I think Ledick's trying to He's just so hesitant. You can see how he's even pulling that jab back. He's hesitant. Glove shot. Yeah, he's... he's, he's like he wants to pull the trigger. Oh. Kennedy's countering the heck out of him. What do you think he does? Kennedy's got something for him. Well, he doesn't know how to get in him. Kennedy's not going to stay in that corner very long. I'll tell you that. Yeah, that's right. Uh, get out of that corner. Get your rope. When you rope, when you feel the, the rope on your back, slide down the ropes. Don't come off the back. The, the ropes straight ahead at your opponent. Slide down the ropes. That is that's good work. This is thing. These are things. There's a. a, a a left-footed pivot from Kennedy. I mean, these are things that are taught to a fighter. Look at this movement. You know, look at this back, forth, look, set up a right hand, set up a left hand. You know, that is, this is these are things that are trained to a, a boxer. You don't go to the library and check out a book and read how to box. You, you, somebody teaches you, physically says, here, you move over here. Burgess Meredith teaches you. <laughs> look at a rocky movement. You know, the funny thing is, is that Kennedy is like, well, the whole thing is he's, he's got a rhythm and a dance going out there. He, he knows what he's trying to set up, where to find it. This is not just him hopping around. He, he knows exactly where his comfort zone is as he's is doing his routine here. This is this is the way he boxes, his fluidity and looking for the opportunities. And he's got Lettick to the point where the right hand he just snuck in right there. Well, Lettick's got to let it go. He's, he's not going to. I know those punches, yeah. Less than a minute left in this fight. Fourth round. We got one more after this one. Yeah, but this, the point is, is that Ledick is trying right here. He's trying, but uh, Kennedy's just slipping all of them. Now uh, you can't hit Kennedy with a handful of salt. Look at the movement. Nice right, right hand again for Kennedy contending. Now, did, did you see that Ledick right there had had his half his mouthpiece just spit out? Like yeah, he's, he's, he's trying huffing. to catch his breath. But he's huffing and puffing. He's, he's tired. Huffing and puffing. He's tired. He's yeah. having a rough time. That's what happened when you face this uh, bee swarm. You're Five rounds too. It's uh, this is past three. They're used to going three, but the, the fourth and the fifth round are been there. They're tough. You don't realize how much longer those are than the first three. It'll be a long fifth round for Mr. Ledick. If he doesn't get a knockout, he's lost his fight. And nothing so far indicates that he, he can load up and deliver that type of punch. Let's take a look at some of this movement, Sean. Yeah, constant movement. One side, the other side, all over the place, sneaking in your little punches too, here and there, and you can't catch him, you can't counter him, you can't get over him. He's, all over the place, all over the ring. You know, he, he, t different looks. I, I I love this. You know, I watched Ray Robinson late in his life. He wasn't even boxing at the time, but he got in front of the mirror and he never threw a punch. He just moved one way, one day, turn, spin, whip around. You know, like kind of like a dancer, like a, like a like a ballerina might do, like like somebody other than a boxer would do. And he was just spectacular watching him do these little turns, these little moves and how important that is to a fighter in a, in a, in a match, especially in a match like this where you're way ahead. You, you don't want to get hit with anything, you know, devastating, but you want to spin your opponent's punches. You pull down his shots. You, you play with him a little bit. You know, try to, you know, not really, just try to win every round, every round. 
Fifth and final round here, and uh, Ledick was... Oh, the left hand! He walked right into that. Boom. I just was gonna say, Ledick was trying to press it a little bit because he knew he needed to do something big, but he just, he just walked into a left hand on the button. And right there is the danger of trying to press a fight. You know, and he's lost every round. His nose is bleeding. He is a tough guy just to get up from that and to continue on. What heart, what heart this kid has. Ledick is just a tough guy. He's trying so hard. It's so terrible. So horrible for him. He's starting to look for somewhere to yeah. land. That and, and the referee's got to say, it. Jeff, that's all nice job. Good job, ref. Joe Cantu, the, 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 the veteran referee, how fantastic. What a great stoppage. What a great point to stop this fight. That's, that's outstanding. This kid doesn't need to be <laughs> taking any more shots. Sit him down on a stool. You know, he's, he's been humiliated. He's been embarrassed. His nose is bleeding. He's been knocked down. He's been hurt. He's been cracked. Here's. What Look at happened. this. This has Speed. been set up all night long, folks, and here it comes. Speed is, is power. Follow that jab back. Watch it. Watch this. Continue. We'll follow that jab back with a cross of his own, and boom, boom right on the, the button. button. Kersmack. Right on the perfect point. Precision timing. You know, this kid's a tough kid, but there's no reason for him to take any more beatings. I think the referee did made the, made the absolute right call at the right time. Very good work. He's tough. I, I felt like... After he was knocked down like that, he was he was he was looking for a place to land anyway. Now he didn't want Cantu to step in, but that's just a fighter yeah, in yeah, him. Yeah. But he was not going to last much longer, yeah. and, and it was not going to get any better. Cantu, yeah. the, any good referee yeah. knows he's already lost the it, first it four been, rounds. Been where he's going. Yes, yes that's right. That's my I favorite. I like that. That's been my, where he's going. That's my favorite he's, statement from Sean O'Grady. He's, he's been where he's yeah, going. He this one's over. He ain't getting any better. It's all downhill from there. But Katende, I tell you. Uh, did, we've seen him in the past, and he has grown. He has blossomed some since we've seen him before when he put yeah. boxed for the Mexico City team. I mean, he's, gotten, he's just gotten better. You know, this may have been a confidence booster for him, too. He's, he's been in some rough fights. He's uh, hung in there. He's come back. He's won and lost. He sure looks good tonight. Sure, that's sure fun for him. Well, you know, here's a fighter that's dangerous for anybody as he sure. moves through his career. Yep. Let's get the official announcement from ring announcer Michael Vale. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout ends at one minute and 23 seconds of round number five. Referee Jerry Cantu stops this bout for your winner by knockout, Kennedy Katendi. Alan, wow, what a fun fight. Was that as fun for you as it was for all of us? I mean, I hope so. You know, when I get in the ring, I'm always here for the show. So you got me, man. Always a show for you guys. Well, that was a terrific show. Yeah, how about that, Orange County? That was a terrific show you put on. And I promised our fans we'd have a big smile from you when it was over. Let's see that, those pearly whites. Yeah, he's a happy guy. Hey, tell me, tell me what you learned in a fight like this. I mean, you always learn in a fight. I mean, I always do what coach told me. So you always have to practice different things. Even if it's going very well, coach knows what he wants you to do. So you just go out and do whatever he tells you to do. You gotta rely on those coaches. But at what point did, did the coach or you say, it's time to land that big blow? No, I mean, we never, we never said anything about landing any big blow. He just told me to keep on fighting I was, I was doing. That big blow always come, you know, when you don't expect it, that's when it comes. When you go in for a knockout, it's always very hard to do. You know, we were laughing about it. You were taking a nap back in the back before the fight, before the fight came up. Does this mean after the fight, you're gonna go back to the dressing room and take another nap? You're missing some sleep? <laughs> no, you know, it has been very hard for me to come all the way to Sweden to come here to adjust. So I've been very tired, you know, but I did what I gotta do, so. You know, Thank you. You put a lot in heart in this fight, but so did your opponent. He tried really hard. Anything you wanna say about him? No, I think he did a very good fight. I mean, coming out this, this quickly to do a fight against someone he doesn't know. It was the same thing for me. I didn't know him, but it's always 
just mentally. You know, that's what it is here at the World Series of Boxing. Nobody shies away from competition. And I, I've never seen you shy away from competition. Kennedy, you, you did a great job tonight. Congratulations, and I hope to see you again very, very soon. Kennedy Kitende, how about that? Orange County, this guy's, this guy's good, isn't he? Alan, he, he did learn some stuff tonight. Kennedy Katende has been one of my favorite personalities in the three years I've done this series, and tonight you saw probably the best of him. Of course, it depends on your opponent. He had an opponent in there that, that gave him exactly what he wanted, and he was patient enough, which is a sign of a good fighter, to uh, be patient enough to do what you have to do to take him out of the air.